he, no, the block would have said no, I think, on that occasion. Oh, yes, magnificent. It's a free swing. Lopez has been sold an absolute dummy by Sato in the middle. And now this one goes to Spike Town. Of the rally, of the box, as it were. A soft touch, well done by the Libro. Chong and Ale Junior. Well, the Brazilians use their feet really well when it's a ball, ball sport. Here we go. Shots at boom! It's just such an unusual picture for Clayton Nielsen to deal with. Having a, a quick attacker coming in with a left handed hit. And it's a free swing for Sato. He's, he's opened up. Brilliant. This is going to be free ball. Four attacking options for Hulk Bank. Desky makes a really good touch. Oh, and Santori do what Hulk Bank did to them in set one. Engerpeth went with a second wall pipe. It's going to be an ace. Oh, good save. It's not going to be, though. Free ball. Expect now that this will be put away. Oh, he did. That's what I know. Oh, that's fantastic. Oi has come up. He's a front court setter. And I think they thought maybe he was going to set that. And he's gone, I don't have to. I, I'm front court. I can have a swing. So I will. And he's played it magnificently well off the block. And that's a really hard work side out. I thought Matic's by surprise there. Rose come in because then you're missing opportunities to make digs and at this level with these players you need that one that one dig can be the difference between winning and losing a match well that was spicy from uh, Kenji Sato middle blocker on paper but he's got to do that as well exactly what you were referring Sato is really the engine room of any volleyball team isn't it oh well done on that pass with that left hand he absolutely plump pummels it Fabulous swing. It's not easy as well when you're a left-handed middle hitter. Sato, the ball's got to come across your body. But here's a good place because he's hitting that behind the setter. So that opens up for him perfectly. When he's in front, it's got to travel a little bit further. These teams have, they, they figure a way to up their gear, isn't it? Suddenly. It's all about consistency. And they've been, they've been kind of testing each other out. The setters have been trying to find who's hot and who's not. Rodriguinho with the serve. Stay in the match. Well, that'll be a double touch against Glenn and Ilsen, and they do stay in the match. Off the chest and then the foot is not allowed. Two chances for Cruzeiro from side out to get it done. That's fantastic. Well, we are at the business end of this set now, and it is all to play for. That was a smoking hot pipe attack from Alain Junior. Take a look at that. It is my favourite play, the pipe attack. You couldn't play the ball for a long time below the height of the knee. It's been in recent modern times that you can play with any part of the body. And that makes it so much more spectacular. Or if they get it into transition. The Libro's not on either. There is no transition. Well played on Adera. Lovely set from Oya. Got himself a free swing. Opogoski's expecting that to go wide. And so for Cruzeiro, make hay while Alan Jr. is away. Can they? No, not yet. The Sunbirds will uh, stay in the hunt. The replacement they brought in in, in uh, Yu Yu and Tai, Chinese internationals, very good replacement. And of course, they have got Mizeski they can go to, as evidence from the replay. Row attackers. But potentially two back row attackers if they've run a 10 and a pack. Not going to do that. Lovely from Onodera. Even with Alexander in the base position where he needed to be, it was still too quick for him to... You, you and Ty with the serve. 
a tricky one, that when it comes off the net like that. Goodness me, Lopez with a bit of an anger pet. But it is the Sunbirds with the point and a bit of a lead. That was almost a slam dunk attempt then from uh, Lopez with a 180 going on. Bit of a bank shot, wasn't it? He's so high though. Goodness me, get another rotation. He could have had a swing facing the net. What a fabulously close match this has been. Uriarte. That's unlucky. He had his running spikes on. He was getting close to the net, close to the pole. Couldn't scoop it back into play and we continue on. That's a perfect pass. And that will be side out. He's having a really good game, this Alexandre. Almost like they're playing the game of PUBG on a volleyball court. It, well, some, do you know what? Some of them, I think, more cannons, some pop guns, but they. Nicely done. Fuchinak, do something that you will find that you can enjoy, and, and it can just really increase your enjoyment of what you're doing. Junior absolutely pummels it in the right spot, in the sweet spot. Honestly, this battle between this matchup between Alan and Lopez, it's anything you can hit, I can hit harder. And they're certainly trying to outdo each other, aren't they? In sport, amnesia is a good thing. Quickly forget what went wrong. You absolutely have to forget that. Yeah, it's done. You can't change it. Volleyball's all about controlling the controllables. If you if I can control the situation, I've got to do my utmost to do it. If I can, well, I have to let it go. That, well, that's also a good lesson in life, actually, is not worry about the things you can't control. They've lost the set. A really good ball in and a nice side out. There's a good rhythm about what the Suntory Sunbirds are doing from their side out game at the moment. Rosero are looking a bit lost, clueless, aimless, listless, restless. Got any more reject? Well, that's exactly what the Sunbirds are doing. Side out is a okay right now. There is a wave of belief in the Sunbirds camp. Forget about what happened at the end of uh, the. Sunbirds respond in kind. Yu Yuntai make sure of it. Take my eyes open the first reality. He's doing okay. Fujinaka make sure that one hits the floor. Oh, there's a question mark at his own name, which is Kenya Fujinaka. Yes, I can. Kenya, yes, I can. He certainly can. Look at that, brilliant. He's found the merest of space so far for that man, Lopez. Lopez Castro, Miguel Angel. And not only that, he's he's not one of the starters necessarily for the Cuban national team. Marlon Yant uh, going through the outside for them. The, the strength in depth that Cuba have right now is just incredible. The second. And for those of you who are new to the game, wondering what is, why is it called side out? Well, it's because you're trying to get the other, the side opposite you, out of service. They just got shortened to side out. Well played. Smart hit. Seeing Cleddy Nilsson's hands and playing that ball up into them and away. He's not tried to hit the find the floor. Well, if uh, the Sunbirds have to make a comeback, it's that man, Alan Junior, to the left of your screen. He has to keep that magic going consistently. The, the four blocker will go over, join the middle blocker, and they'll put two blockers up. So they'll they they find solutions. There's no there's no one way to do anything in volleyball. There's fundamentals. There's certain things you really want to have that you can 
then rely on when you're under pressure. You want something that you can go to, that is not going to quit on you. It's not a, a shaky technique. Definitely lights on at the moment for Cruzeiro. They're up by two. Paul Nielsen with the serve. Tricky. There's not many left-handed middles that Lukao goes up against ever. And instinctively, you're thinking right-hander. Seto's left, and he's gone straight past Lucas here because he needs to be a step further over to his left to deal with that. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.